see all of the people come together and to, to reunite, especially after the COVID here, uh, is really uh, refreshing. Members of Utah's many Native American tribes met with state leaders today. The governor's annual Native American summit took place at the University of Utah. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow was there and explains what representatives from the tribes want Utah leaders to prioritize. A Hopi butterfly dance opened the governor's Native American summit, offering prayers for rain in the ongoing drought. The summit brings together Utah's diverse Native American tribes, community groups, and government agencies to discuss issues and ways they can collaborate. So we're very, very, very fortunate to have these discussions with them. The summit is focusing on issues both political and cultural. One is with the ICWA law. We really need to make sure that is passed. Our water rights is another. Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson met privately with tribal leaders. Every tribe has their own issues, uh, and, um, and we're trying our best to make sure that we're addressing those in the way that we can. The Navajo Nation is seeking state help with a highway connecting a section of southeastern Utah. It's a very remote area, and some of our people just travel all about two and a half to three hours around that route just to, just to get from one side of uh, Utah to the other. So we're looking at that. And of course, the, the drought situation is a huge concern. Uh, Lake Powell is, is, we're losing a lot of water. Seminars focused on health care and access to justice. One poignant event focused on abuses suffered at boarding schools in Utah, where Native American children were taken from their homes, stripped of their language and culture. So we're hoping that people will start healing. The healing comes from talking about our stories, sharing our stories, and that there will be a repercussion of goodness and not the, the, the atrocities that we've experienced. We have been through a lot, but yet we have perse persevered. Members of some tribes also complained of a lack of acknowledgement of Native Americans in the Pioneer Day holidays. If you're going to have a celebration, you need to recognize the first people as well as all those that followed. Should the state do more of that? Definitely. Definitely. Do you get a sense that there's a willingness to do that? Uh, with this governor, yes. The lieutenant governor says the state and the tribes can continue to try to find ways to work together. I've been working really hard, the governor's been working really hard to make sure that the tribes know that our door is open. <laughs> University of Utah, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.